when you see these national companies step up and really help advocate for the protection of the Wasatch, it's huge because not only do they have a really big following, but I think it really demonstrates how serious of an issue this is. We talk about it a lot. UDOT deciding if they want to build a $550 million gondola in Little Cottonwood Canyon. We have covered this with local advocates. They've been very vocal on the project, but now national outdoor recreation companies are speaking up in opposition. Yeah, Kristen McPeak spoke to those involved about the impact this is having on conservation. My name is Mason Daly, and I am here representing Patagonia in our stance against the gondola in Little Conwood Canyon. At a recent Wasatch Front Regional Council meeting. My name is Jess Powell, and I'm here representing Black Diamond Equipment, and I'm here to voice the company's opposition to the gondola. Outdoor recreation companies took a stand against the gondola project in Little Cottonwood Canyon. This project is more than just the gondola. It's going to happen in phases. Starting with phase one, which is already funded by the legislature, that will add some buses up Little Cottonwood Canyon. Phase two, widening Wasatch. And lastly, adding the gondola. What does it mean to have a big company behind something like this? So, um, I think input from all perspectives is important. Patagonia, not shy, posting these Instagram posts against the gondola, even redirecting customers to sign a petition on their website. We've been in constant contact with them to really like help refine the messaging and make sure things are as accurate as possible, I think, from both ends. And Grace Tyler with Save Our Canyon says this isn't just a local discussion, but it's a national one. The gondola is definitely not the first issue that these companies have really rallied behind. Like they genuinely want to protect the environment as a whole and support community driven organizations. Patagonia is known for its environmental advocacy. Would you say that the gondola project is an environmentally friendly project? I, I believe it does, right? Um, all of the alternatives have impacts. They have different impacts. The real benefit I see is all of the alternatives that we proposed are transit based. UDOT's Josh Van Jura says the outdoor retailers advocacy has allowed for more feedback. This will allow them to reach their decision and feedback is part of the National Environmental Protection Agency's process. The NEPA process is dependent on public input. So the more public input we get, the more informed decision we can make and we can verify that we did analyze all the impacts both completely and correctly. UDOT says that they will have a decision about this this summer and we'll be following it closely. We'll be sure to keep you updated. In Little Cottonwood Canyon, Kristen McPeak, KUTV2 News.